All right, everyone, welcome back to YouTube. Today we're talking about how tribes can be developed, especially in today's world as we are, um, you know, growing in our own individuality and our wisdom and we're growing in our age, right? Like one of the questions I get a lot is how do I develop uh, a tribe of men as I get older, especially past a lot of those bonding years of the early 20s when we're in a lot of highly, um, I, would, I wouldn't say necessarily traumatic, but I would say exhilarating. I would say um, uh, trials that go on during those early informative years, our early young adult years as men. This is where we form a lot of our bonds. Now, even when we're developing, we form a lot of our bonds as well in high school and in developmental school in general, uh, you know, a lot of the early experiences of college and military, those kinds of things. That's where we develop a lot of our hardened, hardened, close friendships. And so what we want to talk about is how we create tribe nowadays as we get older, number one. And then number two, what are some of the ways that we can get into those experiences where we're really creating a tight bond? Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the initial how do we find tribe as we get older now i've talked about this before and i want to reiterate this again which is you can create tribe through uh encircling yourself with men that are on the path that you want to go so what does that mean well that means going into men's experiences yes i have men's experiences yes i have friends who have men's experiences and yes, this is a great place to put yourself in a very unfamiliar environment, one. Number two, you put yourself around men who have been brought together with similar mindsets, you know, obviously curated by somebody like myself um, who picks these men specifically for small containers to then allow you guys to bond. That's another way to do this. And the other thing is if you don't have people in your proximity, so you don't have people around you in your own environment, because you're not in that world of what the, we're in these spaces of where these heightened levels of awareness and consciousness come from these men. If you're not in those spaces and you don't have a connection to those spaces, say your wife or partner or somebody else in your life, then the other way to start this journey is to get involved by listening to podcasts and listening specifically to men's podcasts. Now, if you go into the men's podcast, one, it's free of charge. So you get the access to the thoughts of the men who are in the world of coaching and in the world of developing men. That's the first thing. You get to sample size the person that potentially could be a mentor or guide, right? So you get to sample size this person. You get to sample a lot of different visions, articulations, stories, and ideas. So that helps you to start to expand your network of just listening to what is going to potentially challenge you and what is going to potentially allow you to grow without first taking a step into an environment where you're in energetic proximity to other people. That is how we start to open the door. The other thing is, if you're listening to a podcast, high likelihood is the guy that has the podcast has a group has some form of coaching um, environment, has some form of, um, um, what, what is the word I'm looking for here? Wow, community, there we go. Wow, it's a big one, should probably know that one. But community as well, they probably have something like that, whether it's free, low ticket, or whatever. And I have all these things, but I, I'm not saying I'm the only answer here. And that's the, that's the point of this initial opening to finding men to encircle yourself with. So whether you take the, the action to put yourself in just these, one of these communities for probably a pretty nominal fee, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, like mine is $47.99 to get to the subscription program. Um, it's a lot of content. There's guys that are coming into that and we're starting to build more and more of that. But that is a place that you can do this. And also other men have that stuff. So go check them out. They have lower ticket subscriptions. You can cancel at any time if you don't like it, but give it the, give it the opportunity to give you this network of men you're looking for. Give it the opportunity to allow you to grow. Um, and that's, that's kind of the next step after the podcast. Start with the podcast, guys. If you're listening to this YouTube, Go check out my podcast, The Art of Masculinity. You can see some of it here on YouTube. 
but then also go and check out other podcasts of men. Go check out other YouTubes of men. See who fits with you. See who challenges you. Don't just do group thing. Don't say this guy's saying what I like and what I want to hear. Say, is this guy challenging me? That's the biggest thing. All right, done with that. That is what we're doing. The next piece to this is the fact that through my life, especially in special operations and in protection, I've realized that men bond in two ways and they bond similarly for different reasons, but they bond similarly. And that is they bond through either exhilaration or trials, right? So if we can give excitement if, or we can give very austere environments which, with challenge, which challenge you and break you down past the levels in which you've ever broken, broken down before, significant adversity is what we refer to in this, trials, that will bring you very tight with men. You will bond very closely with them. And similarly with exhilaration, these tap into the same in similar neurological aspects to our, to our brains, but exhilarating times create tight bonds as well. So both of these can allow you to connect with men in a way that you have never bonded with them before. And even if it's old friends, these things will help you to bond with them as well very tightly in ways that you never have bonded with them before. So you will probably end up having a better relationship with men when you're actually in that level of bonding. So really wild, but absolutely um, true. I've seen this happen with guys. So this is what we do in the wild man experience. And we've done this through Activate Your Alpha with Stefano Safandos and the group over Empowered Brotherhood. We did this, we did the trial version, deep bonding through a stressful environment that really challenged men and broke them down past where they've ever been broken down before. And then the wild man experience is to give guys exhilaration, uh, whether it be in Alaska or whether it be in Corpus Christi. And we've seen men bond and create friendships for life out of those. So just remember that that is a, that is, both those give you the same thing. Now, psycholo physiologically, these feel, psychologically, they're very similar, but physiologically, they actually feel very similar in us. So in stress, we have epinephrine, norepinephrine, and cortisol that get released. Excitement, we get dopamine, endorphin, oxytocin, and serotonin. Now, in both of those environments, physiologically, we create this atmosphere of kind of fight or flight, right? With excitement, you can do both. You can stay in and you can participate in the excitement, even though you know it's going to be challenging because part of that is stress. Part of that is anxiety, right? And the same thing with trials. It's going to be stress. It's going to be anxiety and it's going to take the perseverance to want to continue to participate in that environment. And in that, when you guys struggle together or when you guys have extreme excitement together, you are going to feel a deep bond that you guys have never had before. And it's going to end up giving you that connection to somebody in an energetic way that you've never uh, experienced before, or you have experienced early on in life um, through things like sports. You have experienced through things like uh, you know, the military, right? But this will give you that simulation of what you had in the past and create a new group, a new tribe of men around you. So whether you do it with a tribe of men, whether it's another guy within that tribe um, that you really connect with, you will gain tighter friendships and tighter groups of men around you by experiencing stuff like this. Now, you can leverage all of these environments to bond. You just need to pick what the space in which you're in. So one of the pieces, um, one of the ways that uh, you go through rites of passage in certain cultures, especially things like, you know, Native American culture or um, with the Norse Viking uh, Germanic culture with the Greek culture, like the Spartans think that. Um, when you go through all of this stuff, because of the fact that it's got a form of, of militaristic suffering, it allows you to experience the tight bonds of those groups, right? So for instance, a lot of what you see in, especially even um, religious cultures, is suffering, okay? And suffering creates that trial atmosphere. And in that trial atmosphere, you gain deep connections to men around you that go through it with you, 
Okay, you can create deep bonds with people that you go through those environments with. And decidedly, this happens because of the fact that we are having a very, a very um, adversarial situation happen in which we are having to create adversity through the fact that we are having something extend us physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Now, again, similar with excitement, guys, if you put yourself in that environment, you're going to experience uh, physical, emotional, spiritual, and uh, mental taxation on yourself because of the fact that you're fighting a lot of the same emotions that you're getting from a stressful environment. Even though there's a little bit of a difference because you're excited to be in a place, right? You're excited to be doing something. A lot of what comes up is similar to how we react physiologically. So just remembering that. Now you can leverage those uh, environments to bond. And if you put yourself in them, so say for instance, your, your tribe, you haven't really built that strong tribe of men through online community or through book, um, book evaluations or readings or whatever, get in person and get in an environment that causes you to get outside of your comfort zone and challenges all of you guys similarly together. That is where you can find, you can leverage the in-person environments to really ex excel in growing your tribe and to give a deeper bonding than anything else that you'll experience outside of in-person events, okay? That is going to push you guys. So if you're a dude that's looking for this, if you're a guy that has struggled with online communities, and yeah, you might have some guys there that are like-minded, you may have created some friendships, but you want something more where it's like, hey man, I want it to be like where we're texting each other every week, like I want that brother in my life or that brotherhood in my life. Guys, get involved in something that is going to either rise your level, raise your level of excitement, your exhilaration, or is going to put you in such a trial mode that you are going to be challenged beyond the beliefs that you've had in, in your past. And I don't know what that looks like for you. Everybody's got their own levels of doing it. There's things that are on my list to do, which I try to involve myself in these environments as well. I do exciting things with my brothers that I'm like, bro, this is going to be so much fun. And it helps to tighten our bond together. And we go and do it. Last year, I went and did a um, outdoor camping trip for a week in the backwoods of Wyoming on horseback, you know, with two buddies. And it really bonded us. The other thing is I go and do challenging stuff as well. I used to run a lot of OCR races. Um, the obstacle course races where you're outdoors like Tough Mudder and stuff like that. Spartan races are great for this. I've done very extended versions of this, like World's Toughest Mudder and then the Toughest Mudder, which is a 12-hour one. The World's Toughest Mudder is, I think, 36 hours. And I've done that and created friends out of that and created connections out of that because you can bond with people in those moments. And if you take a group of friends with you that you uh, would like to bond with more or you put out to a couple of guys say hey you know uh who wants to do this with me you're going to create a deeper connection with those dudes and they're going to last very long into your life and then the same thing is if you got brothers or you find an environment like the wild man experience or like somebody else's experience where they're doing really fun shit, then go participate in that as yourself or as a group of men. If you got a good tribe of dudes that you really like, but you guys aren't really growing together de developmentally, get involved like that because you're going to know them much better after that. Because I guarantee you, if you're finding the right guy that's leading it, he is going to challenge you guys physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay. And that is what's important. So Putting yourself in these environments, I do this on a regular basis. I actually am in the works of planning one with some good friends this year, um, the exciting one. And then one of the ones that's been on my list to do has been Everesting. I think it's called like 2999, uh, 29099 or something like that. And that's a really cool one where you have, I believe, 36 uh, hours to it basically climb up a mountain that they have reserved off. You know, this, this group has, I think it's Jesse Itzler's, Jesse Itzler's group. They reserve off mountains and um, you get to go and go up 
and then you climb up and then gondola down, I believe, or ride a, a ski lift down. But you go up this mountain as many times as it takes to equal the height of Everest. So for some of these, it's like 13 times you got to go up. So for some, it's like 17 times you got to go up. But you got to do this over and over and over for like 36 hours and then achieve that. That right there is a physical strength. It's going to break you mentally. It's going to break you physically or at least push you in both very severely. And it's going to challenge you. And if you take or you meet people on that, you can end up really connecting with them as men. So leverage these environments. If I can, if you take anything away from this episode, leverage these environments to create tight bonds. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see y'all next week.